it's Jared here uh, on the couch here, The Pitch, Reds TV, with my man... Paul Izzo. How you going, man? Why don't shake your hand? How are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, great. Now, last week we had Jordan Elsie on the couch and we mentioned that last year we had both of you on the one episode and it was watched by so many people, at least eight. So um, we split it up this year and we've got you on the pitch. Great timing as well because you've been in, they say, in between the sticks. Is that what they say? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. You've got to give me more than Bruce Kamau gave me this episode, man. We'll get to him in a sec. All right, so, uh, man, let's talk first of all about... Uh, oh, wait, let me see this again. For shizzy, my it's easy. Um, so, ha, come on, man. How you been going? You've been uh, filling in for you, choose on Asian Cup duties. And uh, look, 7-0 against Newcastle last Saturday night. Um, it's pretty obvious to say that the club's going quite well. But how's the experience for you been to actually play first-team football for a while? Yeah, it's uh, terrific. You know, it changes everything, your perspective on everything when you're playing, week in, week out. You know, it's obviously very different. Your attitude towards things are... Uh, Knowing that you're going to be on the bench, you know, even though you prepare to play, but knowing that you're playing, you know, it just changes your mentality and uh, your perspective on things in a lot of ways. Uh, what happened in the Newcastle game? Uh, speaking to a couple of the boys afterwards, they said that everything just went right. Like, even the, the team got to a stage where John Hall, the sweatiest man in the world, <laughs> was um, subbed on for you just to get a run as well. I mean, you don't want to go in comfortable at halftime 4-0 up, but it, it's like every decision went our way and everything just fell perfectly for us. Yeah, that's... Uh that's the game we play. I mean, some days everything can work for you. Some days the ball can bounce a different way and, you know, things go unlucky. But, you know, against Newcastle, that was our day. Everything went the way we wanted and um, everyone played their part perfect, I reckon. All right. Uh, if you want one of these hats as well, uh, make sure you buy them. You can go on the website and buy them at the next home games. We'll give you the details later. And we've got that uh, shirt to give away at the end of the year as well that uh, Paul will sign. We need to cover Newcastle very quickly. I don't want to get too serious about it because this is a fun show, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. You're real sweaty as well. So are you okay? No, it's just, uh, Marius just put the heater on, I don't know why. <laughs> What's the heater on for? It's 34 degrees. Um, the Newcastle boys, there's a couple of former Adelaide United players there in Zenon Caravella. We know that Geronimo's there, and even though he's just left, uh, Mark Birigid is probably affected as well. But how do you guys feel when something like this happens? There's a, a storm over the club at the moment. Um, it, it's hard not to feel for those players, obviously. Yeah, it's, um, it's not good for the league and it's not good for them themselves you know it's bad to see like another club struggling and um but i think as usual like every club does it there will always be always be one year where a club's struggling and um i think they'll get through the rough patch all right good answer so that's the serious stuff out of the way i want to talk to you about all of the new signings we've had a couple this week and your good mate jordan elsie gets a one-year extension which uh is fantastic for him and also a good uh, show of faith uh, from the club because he's recovering from that knee we spoke about last week uh sergio Therio signs on and also um bruce Kamau. and when he was asked how he felt about it he said yeah it's cool <laughs> yeah cheers uh, what about you? There's a couple of other players who haven't signed yet. So um, this is something that just happens throughout the season. Just players just keep signing and look at their options and just work out what's going on. Yeah, I mean, you'll see what happens. Like, no one knows what's going to happen the next day. You know, you get an offer, you get saying, you don't know, nothing. You have to prepare for anything. Just go about it. Just go about it. Just live life and... Um, don't wear track pants to the next pitch on a hot summer's. What do you keep doing that for? What do you mean? What do you mean you got? Anyway. I was um... agreeing with you. Huh? I was agreeing with you. Oh, you're okay. I don't want to wear track pants. Yeah, well, what... do you want to roll them up? Can you get me shorts? Can we get shorts? All right, we're going to go to a break, come back with social media, and uh, when I... we've got to clap our hands together, and when um, we come back, you'll be wearing shorts, right? One, two, three. Oh, look at that, he's got shorts on. <laughs> Welcome back to the pitch. What's happening? I didn't clap. Oh. <laughs> it's right, I'm, I'm hanging out with Paul. Wait. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, now, uh, two quick things. If you want one of these wicked hats, you can go to the website, all the details will chuck below, and you can get them at our next home game. We're playing Perth Glory, and uh, last time we faced them here, 
Um, we won the FFA Cup. <laughs> Sorry, Perth. Uh, so definitely get your tickets for that. It's on the 15th of February, Sunday afternoon, which will be fantastic. So Izzo, um, part two is social media stuff. Part three we'll get to is uh, additional time. Um, what's your social media like names? On, on Twitter, what's your Twitter handle? Remember last year, Elsie stuffed it up last week as well. Go. Uh, at P underscore Izzo. Great. And uh, you on uh, Instagram? Instagram is just Paul Izzo. One word. Okay. Anything else? You're on like a Snapchat or Tinder or any grinder? Um, no. All right, cool. Well, let's go to our social media questions. So thank you very much. Everybody asks great questions. There's some horrible ones, but uh, most of them are great. So on Facebook, um, Janetta Rossi wants to uh, know the save you are proudest of so far. Wow. Um... Maybe under 17s World Cup against Ivory Coast. Um, last minute save I did. FFA Cup. Yep. Against Wellington. Yeah, it's probably. I'll put that one. All right, can you make the answers a bit quicker? We've got heaps to go through. Thanks. Um, Scott Godfrey, at what age did you know you wanted to be a keeper? Nine. Good answer. He's <laughs> made that up. Uh, Jacob Turner, who is your favourite player outside of the A League? Dude, we can't go for like half a minute. Next, um, think about it. All right, William Hogan, besides being a keeper, if you could be anywhere else on the pitch, where would it be? Striker. Stephanie Palmisi, why don't you ever wear a cap when it's sunny conditions like Danny Vukovic? Because I don't think it really does much when the ball's in the air. Like the sun's going to hit you in the face anyway. So um, About 10 minutes ago, Jacob Turner wanted to know who your favourite player outside the league was. <laughs> Uh, Lucas Neal. Okay. Um, uh, let's go to Twitter now. Beck Johnson, being second goalkeeper to Eugene, does he communicate to you and give helpful tips at training? No, the captain doesn't do that. Sorry, Beck, but like, Beck, I'm sorry at Estatic One, but what's he going to say? Like, what are you going to say? He hurts me. <laughs> uh, let's go to Instagram and um, Alex. Andre Katiana, did I say that? Right? What is that? Alex, uh, Alexandra Kat, Katan, Kat, Katania. I don't, yeah. think I, I don't think I know it. Okay, do you consist of a healthy diet every day or do you allow cheat meals? Uh, probably um, day after the game I'll have a cheat meal, that's about it. What is it? Whatever I can get my hands on, I reckon. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm a salads guy. Okay. Salads through the week, that's it. All right, all right, just that's relax, it. just relax. Um, KK Damasi, have you ever fallen through a trampoline? No comment. All right. Well, I reckon we'd probably give this social media section about a four and a half. Um, I like to get the that players. Part. Yeah, yeah. I like. You've got to save this now, right? No, so, no you've got to save it. No, oh, there's a minute left, and Izzo needs to save it to win the cup. Oh, good save off his head. Oh, I can't believe it. Destruction in the box. Boom. Got a little clip for that. Oh, the box thing? The destruction in the box? Nope. No. Right. We don't have the budget, mate. No All right, we'll come back with additional time in here with Paul Izzo. Thanks for watching, everyone. Nice shorts. Thanks. Thanks. If you say thanks, we'll go to the next thing. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to The Pitch. It's Jared here with my man. <laughs> Not guilty. Paul Izzo. He's uh, a very good man, and uh, he's got some nice ink on his arm. What does that say on your arm, man? Don't oh, worry. Okay. And, <laughs> and um, we've had a great day so far. Now, please buy your tickets for our next home game against Perth Glory. <laughs> and that is on the uh, 15th of Feb. Wow, it's uncomfortable. You know, as uncomfortable as I am, you're still giving me more than Bruce Kamau did. When I said, do you want a nickname? He's like, not really, man. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so um, this is a different additional time where we've got five things in one of these awesome new era caps. You can buy them, make sure you do it. Very affordable price as well. You have to do three of them. Now there's two safe zones in there, so you're hoping for them. One of them I think is in relation to singing a Taylor Swift song because Elsie didn't do it last week. The other is do an impression of your coach. And the other one is call a teammate and tell them you love them more than anything. 
However, you've got to wait for their response because last week Izzo did it to Cam, um, your Izzo, um, Elsie did it to Cam Watson and he just hung up. He's the worst. I would have not signed him just because of that. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is our additional time with Paul Izzo. Number one, good luck. Here we go. You've got to say what it says too. Call a teammate and tell them, yeah. All right, so you've got to call a teammate, put them on speakerphone. Now, it has to be a teammate that you probably don't have heaps to do with, like a John Hall. Yeah. John Hall? He's probably sweating somewhere. <laughs> when I get John Hall on the pitch, I'm going to be wearing like a towel just to stay away. Here we go. I love you more than anything, man. Get back to me, please. Good. I'm glad we went to that because John Hall, change your voice, mark. The worst. <laughs> All right, that's good. Great work, Izzo. Uh, number two now for additional time. Good luck with this one. I reckon you might get a safe zone here. What does it say? Safe zone. Safe zone. Very nice. All right, last one. We're hoping for something fun, but it's safe zone. If it is, it is. It's fine. What do we got? Oh. Safe what does it say? Safe what does it really say? It says safe Hold safe. it up to the camera. It says safe safe. No, it doesn't. It says safe safe. <laughs> it's Taylor Swift, isn't it? Safe safe. All right, you've got one. Now, where's the other one? Oh, wait, John, oh, John Cole. All right. All right, let's just do this. Holy. Yeah, what's up? I love you more than anything, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to let you know that. I love you, man. Uh, I love you too, Ray. Thanks. Ask him if he's sweating. Are you sweating? Hey? Are you sweating? No. Okay. All right, well, I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, man, no worries. Have a good night. You too. Ta-da, mate. Bye. Oh man, that was great. you don't have to do that other one. Well done, all right. So I'm gonna take a selfie with you now. Oh, that was great. I'll buy one of these hats as well. Um, oh, what's my passcode? Oh, I remember what it is. <laughs> all right, um, photo. So we're just gonna chuck this up on social media as we do. Three, oh, I've gotta get the hat in it to make it look good, all right? Three, two, one. <laughs> great, Izzo, good chatting to you, man. Now you've gotta sign the top. And, okay, um, and good luck with everything. Great stuff over the past few weeks. I like seeing you in human form and uh, in every other form. If you share this video on social meds, on like Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, you may be able to win that sign top. So, got anything else to say? Nope. No. You sure? All right. That's it there, I guess. All right, thanks everyone. Next week we'll, uh... all right, he's lost interest, so see you later, bye.